Hey guys, welcome back to Volley Camp Formosa. We are going through some training. Uh, this weekend, I competed in the P1440 event, and while scouting some of my next potential opponents, we took a look at their side out, and I figured it would be a good uh, opportunity to take some training video. So I'm going to take you some through some points. Uh, on this side, we have from Austria, Alexander Huber, and his partner on the far side, uh, Leo Williams from South Africa, both good players. Uh, Huber went to the Olympics at an astounding 5'11", although he might be closer to 5'9", 5'10". So let's just take one quick look at his side out here. We'll take a look at where he passes from and then everything that's involved in his approach. I'm gonna let it run in slow motion so that we can take a look at it. All right, so look how far back he starts first of all, way behind half court. And he is on a little more than a four-step approach here, because right now his left foot in the, is in the ground, and he's actually going to take his right step just after the set. Right, left, right, left. Okay? So I want you to see that one more time. He's taking his first step, his right step, after the set. But he's starting a little bit of momentum from more than three-quarters back. Right, left, right left okay you see where he's hitting from we see the amount of spacing he has now part of the big uh, battle that i have as a coach is when some people say well okay you know those big approaches are great for you big guys well here you go you know you have somebody who consistently plays against seven foot blockers and he's 5'10", maybe 5'11", and you can see the size of his approach. He is a control player. He has great vision and good shots, and you see how much he can keep the court in front of him, the ball, the opponents, everything in front of him so that he can hit. Next thing I want to look at is his eye rhythm. This is Alexander Huber from Austria, uh, and he is an Olympian, and let's take a look at his eye rhythm. So he's looking at the ball for his first step, looking at the ball for his second step. Now he knows where to plant his feet. And on the foot plant, on the double arm lift, you see his eyes shoot forward, hands back, eyes going forward so that he has vision. Okay, and then his eyes return now to the ball and he's probably made a decision just on his way up. And he finds this little bit of sliver down that line for a kill against one of the best teams in the world. So, here we go. From the full length, back behind three quarters, after the set, right, left, still tracking the ball. Looks down to the court, then back up to the ball, and has his decision made and makes his contact on the way up. Beautiful. Guys, I hope this helps. I hope a little slow motion look um, at one of the best players in the world can be of some use to you, and it's nice to see it in slow motion and really talk through it. I'll let it run by one more time just so you can check it out. You can also check out uh, Leo setting and then looking to the court to give his partner a call. Left, eyes, right, left, and just because he's a smaller player doesn't mean he takes a tighter set. From where he's contacting the ball, he can't even reach the net with his arm, right? So that's a good note on spacing for most of you players. How far off are we setting for a perfect set? Most people think they want the ball tighter, but if we look consistently at the best players in the world, they're taking the ball four, five, and six feet from the net so that they have plenty of space and the blocker can't play as much of a role in the game. All right, Mark Burick with Volley Camp Promosa. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want uh, to comment, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube video, please go ahead and do it. And in the comment section, leave me some notes. Let me know what you want to see next. Have a good day, and uh, keep playing ball. Light up.